Hello everyone and welcome back to I Am Longevity. You have been lied to. Everything you've been told about endurance training and longevity is dead wrong. Right now, I'm going to prove it to you. They told you that a high VO2 max is the secret to living longer. That if you run, bike, or do endless cardio, you'll preserve your health and function. But here's the ugly truth. Endurance training isn't stopping aging, it's accelerating it. They never told you the real key to staying young is something called common drive. The hidden power source behind your ability to move fast, react instantly, and stay strong for life. Watch this. This isn't about endurance. This is about explosiveness, power, survival. And if you think you can keep that by running miles and miles, you're in for a rude awakening. So what exactly is common drive and why is it so crucial for staying young? Imagine your brain as the command center of a massive army. That army consists of motor units, the group of muscle fibers that make up all movement possible. Now, these soldiers don't just act on their own. They need orders from a general. That's where common drive comes in. Common drive is the coordinated firing of your motor units. It's what allows your muscles to contract with power, speed, and position all at the same exact time. It exists in all muscles from small to big, and its presence has been clearly verified. Some scientists believe that the nervous system activated your muscles in layers, starting with the slow, small motor units that you see in blue at the top layer here, only bring in the powerful ones later in red at the bottom layer if you produce enough force. They call this the onion skin model. At low intensities, like during long distance running, your nervous system follows the onion skin model. That means the slow energy saving motor units fire the most, and the most powerful ones barely get used, if at all. This happens when your movement goes no higher than 50% of your max voluntary contraction. This is where endurance training resides. But here's the reality. If you're sprinting or jumping, your brain doesn't wait. It doesn't go in layers. It fires all levels of motor units together in unison. You are instantly using much more than 50% of your max voluntary contraction. This is called a reverse onion skin because you instantly use your most powerful motor units. As you can see in the red curved line in this graph at the top, it's first. And this is where common drive comes in. It doesn't work in layers, it works in unison. Your brain sends a unified signal that activates all motor units fast and slow at the same time. Not step by step, not gradually like the onion skin scheme, but instantly like the reverse onion skin pattern. That's why you can explode off the line, react to danger, or jump with power. Because common drive overrides the onion skin pattern, delivering force, speed, and precision all at once. And this is where endurance training fails, because it teaches your brain to slow everything down, to rely on the onion skin model. That's why you lose speed and power over time. When you're young, your common drive is firing at full capacity, your motor units are synchronized, your reflexes are fast, and your movements are powerful. As you age, common drive weakens, your motor units start working out of sync, reaction time slows down, and suddenly you feel weaker even if you still exercise. If you train incorrectly, like relying on endurance training alone, you accelerate this decline instead of stopping it. Now let's talk about firing rates, because this is where endurance training gets exposed. Your firing rates is how fast your brain can send signals to your motor units through the spinal cord. Faster firing rates mean more power, more explosiveness, and more control. Higher firing rates equals youthfulness, speed, and agility. Low firing rates equals weakness, slow movement, and frailty. Remember that. And here's where it gets ugly. Endurance training systematically lowers your firing rates. This is not an opinion. This is proven in science. If you are constantly training your body for long, slow, repetitive movements, your brain adapts by slowing down its firing rates. It actually stops prioritizing explosiveness and power and instead focuses only on efficiency for endurance. Now ask yourself this, do you want your body to be efficient at running long distances? Or do you want to stay strong, powerful, and move like someone 30 years younger? Because you can't have both. 
And if your goal is true longevity, the kind where you still move like a young person at 70, 80, and beyond, you must preserve common drive and firing rates at all costs. Endurance athletes and mainstream fitness gurus will tell you VO2 max is the key to longevity, but they're missing the big picture. Yes, a high VO2 max means your heart and lungs work well, but it means nothing if your body loses the ability to move fast and react. It measures endurance, not youth. VO2 max depends heavily on muscle mass, and without muscle mass, the benefits of high aerobic capacity cannot protect you from frailty and functional decline. Okay, let's go a little deeper, because this is where we destroy every myth that we have been told. Because what most people don't realize, especially young endurance athletes, is that the same neuromuscular decline that destroys function in aging is the exact process endurance training accelerates. And by the time we figure this out, it's too late. Let's start with what happens naturally as we age. Motor unit loss. By the time you hit 75, you've lost nearly half of your motor units. By 90, you're only working with 10%. This is not a theory. It's a fact backed by research. Also, firing rates decline. Your ability to send fast, powerful signals to your muscles slows down dramatically. Your body still tries to move, but the signals are weak and disorganized. The next one... Loss of power and reaction speed. You don't just get weaker, you lose the ability to react, adjust, and control movement. This is why falls become deadly in old age. And the next one is common drive breakdown. The synchronization, the working together between motor units disappear. Your movements become sloppy, slow, and unstable. And here's the part endurance lovers don't want to hear. Endurance training mimics this exact process but much earlier in life. Most young endurance athletes think they're untouchable. They believe that because they can run for miles and have a high VO2 max, they're doing the best thing for their longevity. They are dead wrong. Here is what actually happens when you do years of endurance training. Number one, you gradually stop activating your high threshold motor units. Those are the fast, powerful ones. These are the exact fibers that disappear first as we age. Endurance training conditions your body to ignore them, favoring slow, energy-efficient movement instead. And just like in aging, when you stop using them, they shrink, weaken, and eventually die. Number two, your nervous system starts firing more slowly, as I mentioned earlier. Fast firing rates are what gives you explosiveness, strength, and lightning fast reactions. Endurance training rewires your body to favor slow, steady output, not power. The result? You lose the ability to move fast, react quickly, and generate force, just like an aging body. Number three, your neuromuscular system adapts for efficiency, not performance. Your brain and body get really good at conserving energy, but there's a cost. Your fast switch fibers turn to slow ones. You become slow, steady, and weak. Sure, you can run for hours, but you can't sprint jump and move explosively anymore. It also slows down your nervous system. Your nerves start sending signals to your muscles more slowly, especially when you're tired. Your body gets better at saving energy, but worse at moving with strength and precision. Over time, your muscles stop working together as smoothly. You lose that snap, power, and quick reaction time that makes you feel young and athletic. And before you know it, your body starts moving like someone much older, even if you're still young. You train your body to become slow and it listens. Let me be clear about something. Just because endurance training mimics aging does not mean that sprinting reverses it. Even elite sprinters, people who spend decades training for explosiveness, still slow down with age. They still lose power. They still lose agility. They still lose the ability to react like they did when they were young. Why? Because sprinting alone isn't enough to preserve your common drive for life. Sprinting in a straight line is still predictable. It's one-dimensional. You're not reacting. You're not adapting. You're not moving functionally in an unpredictable environment. And that's the key. Common drive isn't just about speed. It's about the brain's ability to send synchronized, full-body command to every motor unit in real-world conditions. If you're not challenging your body to react 
to change direction, to adapt on the fly, you're not training common drive. You're just moving fast in a straight line. And this is why even the best sprinters in the world still end up walking slow, moving stiff, and losing their edge as they age. Because aging does not just erase speed, it erases complexity, adaptability, and synchronization. That's the working together. And if your training doesn't protect those things, then it's not protecting your youth. You miss one, you miss more. In closing, this video made one thing clear. Endurance training doesn't protect you from aging, it accelerates it. By over-relying on low-intensity movement and outdated onion skin model, endurance training teaches your nervous system to move slow, layer by layer, just like an aging body. It deactivates your fast, high-threshold motor units. It lowers your firing rates, weakens your reaction time, explosiveness and coordination, and slowly destroys the system that keeps your entire body moving as one, common drive. But here's the problem. Even most scientists and athletes have no idea what common drive really is. They reduce it to just a pattern in a muscle study or a number tied to how hard you're working. And that's why everyone, even elite sprinters, do lose their ability to move youthfully as they age because they're missing the big picture. In my next video, I'm going to show you why even the current studies on common drive and the reverse onion skin are misleading the world and how that misunderstanding is costing us decades of youth and function. You will understand why sprinting is not enough, why 80% plus max voluntary contraction isn't the full answer, and why the truth about preserving common drive goes far beyond what anyone is currently teaching. But I will not give it away just yet. I will leave this for my follow-up video. For now, remember this. If you train like you're aging, you will age fast. Endurance doesn't slow aging, it teaches it. And if you want to stay young, powerful, and fully functional, you need more than sprints and sweat. You will need to unlearn everything you've been told. And next time, we'll start doing exactly that. Have a wonderful day, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you soon on my follow-up video because it's going to really strike you here. Have a wonderful day. See you soon.